hell yes. We're freaking getting into this finally. This is a game I've been meaning to check out for a little while. Dead Space Remake. Now, just to get a teensy weensy bit of negativity out of the way immediately, I'm not happy about the fact that they've once again brought back the really fucking goddamn annoying and frustrating difficulty setting thing that they did with Dead Space 2 and 3 where there was a difficulty where you had limited saves this time you've only got one life and you save whenever but you only have one life and when you die you have to restart the whole game and this is required for 100% so I'm not bothering with 100% in this game fuck that noise I'm not going through all that just to have to sit through this awful difficulty because I hated it in Dead Space 2 and I I actually didn't even really hate it that much in Dead Space 3, but that's just because it was super easy to get through. Now, if I can cheese the system here by uploading my save to the cloud or to, to like a USB stick or something like that, I'll do this. But if not, then I'm not bothering. Anyway, I just wanted to get that out of my system so we could get the negativity out of the way because otherwise, I'm excited to play this. I am going to be playing on medium difficulty, however, though. It's like the base bog standard difficulty, I suppose. I actually was supposed to look at the rest of the settings. I'm not going to be leaning, uh, I'm not going to be turning that on. I'm going to be leaving things as they are. So, you know what? Sure. I'm, I'm going to put it on actually. I'll put it on for just in case. Just in case. Just in case there's anyone out there that might be affected by whatever is in, in this game. Now, I did originally play um, Dead Space 1, 2, and 3. I haven't played them on this channel, so maybe I could replay Dead Space 2 and 3 at some point on this channel. That could be fun. Anyway, uh, more settings real quick. Uh, no thanks. Don't like motion blur. Not a fan, and I'm not a fan of film grain either. Uh... You know, this really doesn't matter for this playthrough that you're watching right now because I'm only able to record 30 frames on my Elgato anyway. So I'm just going to turn that off to have like max visuals for now and see how it is. I do apologize. I know the, the resolution is going to say 1080 and it's not going to look too great. My computer's kind of a bag of crap. I really, really want to get a new computer, but money's been really tight. So, unfortunately, I've not been able to continue saving towards new PC. But anyway, if there's any lag, any, um, like, um, input lag or anything like that from not having performance mode on, though, I will put that back on. But, uh, anyway, gonna leave that as that is. Brightness, for now, we'll just leave that as that is. Uh, da -da 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 -da, that seems fine. Okay, language and subtitles. Subtitles are on, that's fine. That's all I really need. Accessibility, menu stuff, colorblind, content warning, hide disturbing scenes, single press, quick time, sprint toggle, aim toggle. Uh, there's aim assist in this game. Interesting. Menu motion, subtitles. Example speaker! This is an example of how subtitles will appear in the game! Um... Capitalization, subtitle, opacity, speaker name, color. Uh, I'll leave that on for now. I'm not the biggest fan of camera shake, but we'll see how it goes. I didn't look at controls either. For now, though, I no, no, no vibration, please. I, I don't know what it is. I used to be fine with vibration, but for some reason now I really, really hate vibration. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know when that happened, when I changed, apparently, but... That's just who I am now, I guess. Anyway. Right, that all seems fine, so accept. I'm assuming this is just going to go straight in. Because it's making me do all my settings now, which makes me think it's just going to boot a new... It's going to boot the game straight up. I guess, from Persona 3? Shout out to Persona 3 Reload, by the way. Like, hell yeah. Hell to the yes. God, she looks kind of different. It's interesting. Sorry about everything. I don't know how loud or quiet my volume is going to be, by the way. I'll bump it up a little bit just in case, but hopefully it doesn't start droning me out. Doctor? Doctor Strange? I'm not majorly keen on the new Isaac, though. I've got to see. I've seen the pictures. It looks kind of weird. This rumor is not a job you turn down, but six months apart with only bit calls, it's rough. 
I can't tell if that's the same voice actor or not. I don't blame you. I'd listen to my girlfriend over Hamlet reciting security protocols. Hell yeah, she's gay now. Let's go. So you keep saying Which is a shame because everyone else on this ship is probably gonna die. Well she it. You know, I'd actually kind of like a uh, Dead Space first person game at some point. I think that'd be cool. It's probably like a first person mod that you could get for this. But I want like a full first person game. I just think that'd be interesting. Maybe that's just because I really enjoyed Resident Evil Village though. Biggest planet cracker in her class now. And it looks like they already popped the core. On the champagne? Well, hell yeah. We should be able to see your running lights. Yeah. I'll get us into hailing range. Someone's got to be waiting. I also just realized Isaac didn't really speak in the first game, from what I remember, did he? From what I remember, anyway. No chances, huh? Is that why you were digging into my personnel files before we left? You track your bio access? I'm a computer analyst. It comes with a job. Also, I have a blue slushy drink right now that I'm still finishing off, so that's pretty, pretty pog. <laughs> Blue Raspberry. This Hell is the yeah. Maintenance team of the USG Kelly responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. And I currently have some alcoholic ice lollies being formed in the freezer right now. This is a USG Pretty Kelly. dope. You ever hear of a communications black on the No. Come on. Someone pick up the damn phone. I love that it, it feels like there's a bit more detail in this uh, intro. There's a bit more speech between the different characters. Daniels and I can handle it in 48 hours, Max. And Isaac actually speaks. So that's cool. Yeah, I hope so. Jen, Johnson, take us in. I'm sure Nicole will be totally fine. Everything's gonna be fine, guys. We're just gonna fix the ship and then go home, right? 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 <laughs> Jack Daniels? Yeah, I could go for a bottle of Jack Daniels right now. Hell yeah. Red light, blue light. Red light, blue, blue light. Yeah, you, you say you'll live. I'm in control of you, Isaac. You will not live. Better than a broken neck. Or worse. Good call on the stabilizer, Isaac. Wait, what's with the helmet? The fuck's going on with flight control? I thought the helmet usually goes like... Like over the face and stuff. Or is that only in Dead Space 2? I know we already had the helmet on. Got a fire in one of the stabilizers and... In Dead Space 1. So I don't know. Singularity force of mass. Could be worse, but not by much. Yeah, I like the Iron Man-esque, like, helmets that they did in 2 and 3. Anywho, I can't move yet. So I guess we're putting the helmet on first. And we'll never see his face again. Well, probably to, like, the end of the game. Interesting. I don't remember the helmet looking like that at the start of, um, the original. I think it was just, like, one big visor. So that's kind of interesting. I dig it, though. Looks pretty cool. Currently, it doesn't feel like there's any input lag. It's like hell. But are worse? You go Maybe like a millisecond or something, but a, like a milli, 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 millisecond. But we'll see how it goes. Combat wise, it'll probably be okay. Oh, hell yeah. Text log. I find it wild that they kept like the UI the exact same. That's kind of cool though. Database. I can't be bothered reading that, I'm not gonna lie. Inventory looks weird. Kinda cool though. I assume this means that we can upgrade the inventory over time. Because there's space below all this. I think you can upgrade your inventory, but it's been a long time since I've played Dead Space. I probably should have played the uh, replayed the first game before I played this. Like the original, I mean. 
Oh, look at this lighting. Ominous. I feel like this area looked a little more orange in the original. I don't like that there's a vent right there. I'm already nervous about that. I can't wait to fucking deal with these vents later, probably. How do I run? Or is it just one of those scenes where I just walk? I assume I just walk. His walking animation looks kind of weird. It looks like he's like tilted to one side a little bit. Like he's leaning while he's walking forward or something. Interesting. Is the Peng treasure still here? I don't know if you can see it from here just yet, but I think I think it was around here. I'm not sure though. Probably not here yet. Anyway, I can like crack my back apparently. That that looked really weird when I was looking up. It's like, uh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what, what? I have no idea what that's saying. It's like really dark, uh, really low audio. Come sink your rig. Wow, look at Mr. Tall Man over here being taller than me. Nice gun. However, I would like that. Can I have that? In fact, let me take the gun. I'm. I know I'm just an engineer, but uh, I swear I'll do do. I'll do better with it than you will. Just just trust me on this. Or anyway, it looks like it's doing the dance. That's what I like to think anyway. Scanning, you have to do this dance to get past the checkpoint. Weeb check! <laughs> well, oh well, guess we should go home, guys. Oh, oh it's open again. Weird. Anyway. Very dark. There we go. Ah. Freaking shoving your gun in my screen like a jump scare. Another text log. I'm not the biggest fan of text logs in games personally, because I know this is gonna sound a little bit unintellectual of me, but I'm not the biggest fan of sitting about reading stuff for like a couple of minutes every time I pick up one of these. It's just something that has become a little a little bit of a slight pet peeve of mine over time. I do understand that it's necessary to, like, bring more lore and story in. It's a good way to flesh things out and world build, but, like, I just want to play the game, you know? Maybe I've got, like, ADHD or something now. The upcoming scene de de contains depictions of a graphic death. I love how the fucking content warnings are literally where my webcam is. God fucking damn it. Right, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm turning that off. But I am gonna say, if you don't know anything about Dead Space, it's a horror game with creepy-ass mutant-looking fucking creatures. There's dismemberment and people's limbs being cut off and people sacrificing people and other shit like that. So if, that's the, if that kind of dark stuff is um, and horrific kind of stuff is something that will bother you then I would not recommend watching this because otherwise you'll probably be at risk of that kind of stuff there might even be things such as suicide and things like that involved in this game I don't know just yet because of the horror tone and um, the fact that we're on this ship when there's monsters and shit around so please keep that in mind but yeah anyway I just don't want to have to move my webcam because I can't put it to the left without covering Isaac and I don't want to move it further down. I thought he said tramps. Not the tramps. Anything but the tramps. He was moving as if he already had a gun for a second then. That was weird, like his hand was like up like he was holding something. That was wild. I'm sure everything will be fine, guys. Right? Right? Is it Santa Claus? Oh. Oh. Okay.
I would like to leave now. I would like to leave. Oh god. I can barely see a goddamn thing. Maybe I might have to turn the brightness up at some point. Just so I can actually see. Get in the elevator. I didn't press the button. I didn't press the button! Oh. Hello. Like I said, I've played this before. The original game, I mean, not the remake. Gory. You. Look at me. Oh, look at the physics on, like, the blood dripping on the visor and everything. Ugh, that's cool. But, like, gross. Wait, where? Did something just pop up there? Did I imagine that? Was it the blood? I could have saw it, swore I saw something just kind of go, but on screen and appear all of a sudden. I thought it was a glitch or something for a second then. How to stomp? I can't stomp yet. Maybe I need to get this first. We got a gun mother- I didn't see the body on the floor. Gun mother trucker. Now, I think in the original, um, the first Dead Space, I actually did my first playthrough only using the plasma core for the entire game. I'm not going to be doing that this time because I do want to have some more fun with the weapons and it'll be more stressful just using the plasma cutter. And I feel like that makes the video a little bit more boring if I'm just using the same gun all the time. Oh, it's like a torch on it now and everything. Wild. Ooh, nice sound effects. That's cool. Somehow the stomp doesn't feel as aggressive. Like, Isaac was literally like, like, kicking the shit out of something in the other games. But this one, he's kind of just like, eh, eh. I don't know, it feels a little bit more wimpier, if you know what I mean. Oh well. Punch. Eh. Take that, you son of a gun. Yeah, alien comes in here trying to kill me and I'm all like, uh, yeah. Can't fuck with me. Can I just punch this? Oh, hell yeah. Just so I can save ammo. Okay, the sensitivity feels a little bit weird. I might have to change that. Like, I don't know. I, I can't explain it. Something just feels weird about the aiming. I feel like up and down might be a little bit less sensitive. So I'm just going to change that real quick. Okay, I put it down by like 10. So we'll see how that goes. I'm still sad about the uh, hardest difficulty though, because I was thinking about maybe if I enjoyed my playthrough of this, I was thinking about 100% in the game. I never did it in the first Dead Space 1. I did it with Dead Space 2 and 3. Well, actually, no, I say that. I got to the very end of the hardest difficulty of Dead Space 2, and I just could not be bothered constantly losing progress because of the fucking annoying save. Oh my fucking Jesus, mother... That was, like, so loud in my ear, by the way. Like, really loud in my ear. Like, holy shit, that scared the crap out of me. Oh. But, yeah. But, uh, I didn't finish the hardest difficulty because I had to keep going back and repeating progress because you only had three saves that you could use, um, throughout the entire game. And it just annoyed me. I don't like save systems like, I don't like difficulty systems like that where you just have to restart the entire game if you die. It doesn't make the game more tense for me. It doesn't make it more fun or more interesting. It just means that when I probably die during that difficulty, I'm just going to turn the game off and go and play something else it, and just never come back to it. Well, never come back to that specific difficulty. I just think it's dumb. I hate those systems. I would rather they actually make a proper super tough difficulty rather than it being oh uh, we're just gonna test your patience instead of your fucking skill anyway the fuck is this Security request retrieved. oh audio logs i don't mind audio logs so much because i can just hang out while they're playing it's just text logs that i'm not a big fan of so what I, might, what I might do with text logs is I might just pop them up real quick, scroll down and just say if you do want to read these, then feel free to press like pause on your video so that you can read them. Uh, how do you go down? 
Yep, and that one, 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 and that one. All right, cool. You know, oh my god. I don't, I just, I don't like text logs. I don't want to stand here, I don't want to like spend my time recording sitting here reading a text log for like five minutes. I'd rather just play the game. <laughs> it's like said, I'll at least try and make it so if anyone's interested in reading these for any reason, then you can quickly pause and read through them if you want to. Because there might be someone who wants to read those. Who might, for some reason, have not seen any of the playthroughs. I don't know. But anyway. Or maybe you want to just reread them after you've watched someone else's playthrough. On a random note, though, let me know, like, what kind of Let's Plays you like to watch. Because I recently started watching the Game Grumps. I don't know why it took me so long. But I just started watching them recently. I also like watching the Nyan Cave. Oh my god, Isaac. Shout out to the Nyan Cave. Just anyway. They're everywhere. Shit, is he, uh... He's gone. Nothing I can I They're your mom. Got him. They're the crew. How the hell can they be the crew? Look at them. We need to get to the bridge. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. A thousand people, huh? And you're both repaired. Oh, so we we've got a bad journey ahead of us. This is cool so far, though. Broken tram car blocking the tunnel. It's gridlocked the system. And the data board turned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of a quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's a doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. You can trust yeah. me. I'm a doctor. Yeah, she always does. Well, Nicole is a doctor. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. Alright. Bye, guys. Wish, wish you were with me. <laughs> anyway, I can't remember when um the first time you get the store pop up somewhere. I don't, I don't remember where the first one is. But anyway, we have save here, so I'm gonna save real quick. Oh, it looks almost the same. Slightly different, but it looks almost the same. I kind of appreciate that. I don't know why though, I'm not the biggest fan of um, remakes just being a graphical thing personally. Like MGS3 Remake is happening now and I've seen a few screenshots and it literally just, just looks like they've just made it look a bit nicer for the graphics. Which is fine, don't get me wrong. But I, I think it's because I'm too used to Resident Evil remakes these days. That are not just a graphical overhaul but there's gameplay overhauls, there's story overhaul and all this other stuff. New, like, you know, like soundtrack overhauls and stuff. I don't want it to just be a graphical thing. Although I guess with this game and, like, games of this era, there might not be anything um, else really needed, you know? Hmm. Because this game was still pretty fucking good on the Xbox 360. Slash PS3. Slash PC. But, yeah. When it came out. Anyway, fuck you, chair! Anyway, I'm going to keep moving now. I was getting distracted for a second then. You know, it's thanks to Dead Space that I've become very nervous about, like, automatic doors, like elevator doors, for example. I always get nervous that the elevator door's going to slam and kill me. <laughs> and that's thanks to this fucking game. Oh, is that? Oh, I think I know what that is. All right. I'm going to try not to spoil anything about this game, by the way, because I have played this before. If you're watching this for the first time, you don't know anything about it. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. So I'll be trying not to... Oh, this is where that fucking... I'm trying not to say anything. But this is where I got spooked. Is this thing going to get up? I feel like it is. What's the stomp button again? This one. All right, well... Yep. Alright, well, he died way easier than I thought he would. Also, on a very random note, if anyone in the comment section could let me know how Amnesia the Bunker is. I'll admit, not an Amnesia fan. I haven't played any of the other games because they're just not really my kind of thing. Well, I've tried to play the other games, they're just they're not really my kind of thing. But apparently this one's a little bit more survival horror-like. 
So that's kind of interesting. So let me know how that is as a survival horror game. If it is just hiding in closets and just running away from a monster the entire time, then I might just skip over it. But I thought about the idea of, uh, of checking it out. Oh, interesting. Does that mean I have, like, two different pathways I can go? Uh-oh. Yep. Oh, that is ass. That is just rude. I want to open my map, if I've got one, to see if this is the right route. Or which way is the right way so I can go a different way, basically. Oh, I don't like that I have to navigate with the, uh, with the, the D-pad. It feels a little bit too clunky to be used like that. Um, is this where I need to go? The tram repair room. Yeah, so I actually need to go that way. Right, so, fuck you, I'm going the other way. Screw you, monster, I'll come back and let you scare me later. Because I want to go to the maintenance bay. Because from what I can tell, this game actually has a bunch of, like, new locations. Or, like, there's a bit more exploration in this game from what I've heard. So that seems pretty cool. Uh, so this has got, like, a bunch of corridors. I'm sure I'm totally not going to get scared a lot during these corridors. While I'm in these corridors. Also, apologies for being tongue-tied. I'm usually tongue-tied anyway, but I'm even more tongue-tied than ever these days. Isaac. Don't bother shooting those fuckers in the head. Doesn't even slow them down. Wait, am I supposed to go here? The only way is hacking them. I feel like I recognize this area. Those arms, their legs. Does that even kill them? Or do they just stop? Oh, do, do I do something in here and then go back? I thought this was maybe like a new area or something, but I guess not. Have I taken a bit of damage? When did I take damage? I don't remember. Was it the first da the first one I fought? Did it damage me a little bit? I don't know. Anyway. I'm nervous. I don't have... Boom! That was a brilliant idea. I did not expect that to be as effective as it was. Hell yeah. Oh, the meaty noises. Blech. Gross, but I love it. Ugh. Look at the fleshiness. The fleshy the, the fleshy noises of the fleshy deaf boys. That's the new name from now on. Anyway. Ah! <laughs> I couldn't see! <laughs> Fucking damn you, sign! <laughs> uh, wrong one. I don't know why I keep thinking left, um, right bumper is the, uh, the stomp. I feel like there's maybe another game that I've played where right bumper is like a stomp or a kick or something. Where did that even... Oh god, it came from behind. Ah! My aim's pretty bad right now. Hopefully I, I should get better with time though. I'm just trying to see if there's like a slight bit of delay. It's like ever so slight, but I'm not sure. I just feel like putting, like, it's it's nice for me to be able to experience the game in 60, but I don't really mind. I played all the other games in 30 and had an absolutely perfectly fine experience with those games. I'm, I'm, I'm not really too bothered about 60 frames. For me personally, 60 frames ruins the look of some games for me. Like, I feel like this game in 60 would look too too buttery smooth to the point where it takes away some of the horror. As bizarre as that may sound. It's kind of like how you get, like, letterboxing, and if you take the letterboxing away from certain things, it can, be, it can feel a bit less cinematic, if you know what I mean. I feel that way with frame rates. 
Like 30 frames for me for some reason makes things a bit more spooky and atmospheric. Especially because we've got like the better visuals right now as well compared to performance mode. Don't you do it! Oh, there's no vent above here, I don't think. Thank God. So many elevators in Dead Space games that have, ele that have like vents in the top of the elevator. Makes me anxious every time. Like, no worries ever safe in these games. Alright. Might have wasted a round there, I suppose we'll find out. In, uh, in time. I'm really anxious right now. Super, super anxious. I wish I had like a heart rate monitor. That'd be fun. Although, I don't really have... I'm not a very healthy person, so my heart rate monitor would probably be going nuts anyway. Are you going to get up? You're going to get up as I come back, aren't you? Not if I do this, you won't. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, basic. Anyway, what about you? Are you going to get up? Yes, you are. But I got a hit off. Got him. See, this ain't my first rodeo. I know to dismember them instead of shooting them in the head. Are you gonna get up? Maybe not, but I'm still gonna stomp the crap out of you just to try and make sure. Am I kicking something along with me? Because there's like... I can still hear the fleshy noises. That was gross. <laughs> Anywho. Another text log. Feel free to read that. But, like, feel free to pause and read that if you want to. Anywhere. Right, anywhere. Circuit breaker. Is this a puzzle? Oh, that just turns the lights off. Oh! Fun! Alright. Time to do this, just so I can see. Pardon me, boy. Is that the Chattanooga choo-choo? Gate 29. I really hope I'll be fine. Ugh. Anyway. Who's the the other body? Is this it, or is, did I drag? Yep, there it is. All right, just checking. Cause you never know. See, I'm I'm having the thought about turning the brightness up at some point. I'm gonna leave it for now. I don't like turning the brightness up in games like this because I feel like they're meant to be dark, and I do understand that. But it's more of a case of. Because I've got a bright light that I need for recording and stuff as well. I can start getting a bit of screen glow. Like some reflection and stuff from the light. And it can make things difficult to see. And because of things being dark, I end up kind of going like this. Like, what is this? A school for ants? Kind of like squinting. A game for ants? Like trying to figure out what I'm trying to see. Now, what I'm actually seeing on the screen, and then eventually my eyes start really hurting. And that is no bueno. Yeah, I see you. You bastard. Come on. Hurry your bitch ass up. I'm being cocky while I can because I'm eventually just gonna get my ass pounded by everything. Got him. <laughs> Fucking, I was thinking, it, why does it sound like there's something behind me? <laughs> oh. Oh, I, I admit, I just like rapid fired that, then I was panicking. Oh, God. I miss you, elevator. I was, I was literally thinking for a second after I killed that other enemy. I thought, why is this enemy still making noise? I'm sure that that's definitely not an enemy behind me, right? And then they fucking showed up behind me. Oh, I can get in here now. I was literally about to say, how do I get in here? 
I'm watching you vent. I caught them venting in electrical. It was super sus. Isaac, we can't stay here much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. I'm halfway done. Found a data board. Just gotta move the tram. Okay, Daniel, watch that door. Alright, well, you know the you know the drill. If you wanna read this, feel free to read it. It's not too bad when it's like just little notes in game, like a little piece of paper that's got like a couple of sentences on. But when it's like a fucking huge paragraph of text, I'm just like, nah. I'll 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 just read that in my own time or I'll just watch a video on the lore of this game at some point instead. I just I would just rather do that. Upgrade we weapons and rig using the bench. It's rigged, I tell ya. Upgrade weapons, improve the selected weapon or rig's capabilities by investing power nodes. Yep, I remember that. Into the power graph. Upgrade graph. I don't know where I got power graph from, but whatever. To gain access to unique upgrades and expand the weapons, upgrade graph. Bring upgrade parts to the bench. I'm going to bench them like it's a sport. Upgrades can be reset at any time in exchange for credits. Uh, suit or damage. Probably suit. Because health would be really great. Why are these in PlayStation colours? <laughs> that's a circle. That's a square. That's a triangle. And then we've got the X. <laughs> or the cross. Or whichever one you want to call it. That's pretty funny. Uh, do I only have the one? I do indeed. I like that they're spinning. I feel like I, that I myself am no event. I'm no ventilation system. Anyway. Back to crying. I have another health bar now, I think. I hear that. Were you still alive, or...? I was gonna say, can the music stop? You are putting me on edge, you... There's another one, there's another one. I don't know where, I don't know where. There you are. What just fucking fell on me? Was that one of their limbs? <laughs> Motherfucker like came from the heavens. The other thing to note about this game for anyone that doesn't know anything about Dead Space is that enemies can literally pop up from certain areas so that vent has been popped up and an enemy came from there, it seems. An enemy could spawn from there, but then if I run away or try to hide somewhere, they might get back inside the vent and find another way to try and get to me. Which is really fucking awful in a good way. Like, in a terrifying way. Because it means an enemy could go all the way over there and get into a vent in that room and I could, like, I could be like, Oh, no, what's going on? Oh, no, I'm scared. And then the enemy might come through this vent, as you can kind of see here, I guess, might actually pop through this vent while I'm looking here and scare the ever-living shit out of me. That is something that makes these games terrifying. Well, Dead Space 1 and 2 at least. The third one, even though I'm one of the strange people that actually did enjoy that game, to a degree, for what it was, it wasn't really that scary. And it was also, like, super easy. I mean, I beat the hardest difficulty on that game, which also only has one save, like, one life and you're dead. And I didn't die at all. Not once. It's so goddamn easy, that game. Mostly because all the weapons are, like, super overpowered. Anyway, time to save. Uh. So I wonder what happens if I would have gone to the maintenance... Not maintenance. Uh, that's where I am now, I think. Um, if I would have gone the other way first... Would that have just said, oh, you need something to fix it, and then I would have had to come back here anyway? That's that's what I think would have happened, but I'm not sure. Alright, switch that over. Deal with whatever the fuck was avoiding me, well, was like, over there before. Not sure if you're even the same one. You could be a different one for all I know. Cargo arrival. I have that feel, that anxious feeling of wanting to like bite my lip and like as a an, as a nervous tick. But if I do that, there's a chance I could get jump scared and then fucking 
bite too hard and really hurt my own lip. Wait, what's back here? Oh, I didn't see you. Cargo hall storage. Can you not? Hi. That's just fucking rude. I don't know if I am going to go over there and they're going to get me. Or if they've maneuvered. This is what I mean, like I was saying. I feel like this game is setting me up here. Like, it makes you think you're going to get attacked in here. And either I am... No, I was going to say, I get the feeling that they've done that to make you think you're going to get attacked. And then they're going to wander off somewhere else and they're going to attack me out here instead or something. Pull an old switcheroo on me, kind of. Alright, where the fuck am I actually going here? Back this way. But, ugh, I don't like using the D-pad. It feels kind of clunky. For map navigation. Anyway. I think I'm actually safe in here for now. So that's nice. Alright. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I moved for a second and it caused my uh, controller to weirdly disconnect. Currently got it plugged in because it needed charging. Additional repairs required. Can you stop? What is happening? <laughs> the, con the fucking controller cable is cursed. Cursed, I tell ya. Anyway. Oh wait, do I have to go the other way? There's another door in here. Do I have to go this way now? So what was the point in me changing the power? Was that for this room here? I don't even know what that was for. I don't know. Anyway, we have to go this way. So... That sounds like a door that's constantly shut in. Yep. These doors are what I'm talking about. You can get killed by those. If I walk into that, it kills you. And uh, every time I get out of elevators and like anything with metal doors now like that, or automatic doors, I'm always concerned. Right on the fucking pelvis. Like that dude just got his dick just crushed. Wang annihilated. Anyway, let me put you out of your misery there, bud. There you go. I spanked him. He had a bit of pleasure and a bit of pain. That's not terrifying at all. Alright, well. This area, I can't remember, but like, for some reason this area feels thinner than it was before. It feels more claustrophobic. I might be wrong. Anyway, time for stasis. Which is weird because anytime I hear the word stasis, oh god, stasis now I think of uh, Destiny 2. Ugh. My nose is starting to run a little bit. <laughs> I guess I should go catch it then. <laughs> anyway. Um, and why? Wow, that does not feel that much slower. I don't like the fact that it's not glowing blue. Usually if you use stasis, things start to like glow blue. <laughs> Me with your mum, am I right? Bang, but I'm joking, I'm joking. Hell, your mum would probably do that to me. All right, well, I'm not gonna save right now. I remember this part, kind of. I wonder if they'll play some sort of trick on me this time. Where the fuck am I going? This is a long ass corridor, by the way. There we go. I actually personally 
wasn't keen on that. I actually kind of think sometimes silence is the best. Like, if that, if all the lights just shut off and it just went deadly quiet, and you're just, like, waiting for the bah to, like, happen with, like, a sound or something, instead of just going, oh, oh, but either way, I feel like I'm going to get attacked in here. I think there was some graffiti on this wall. Uh... F f hound I found a man inside the vents I'm going to screenshot that because that's a little bit sus it's a little bit sus so anyway this Among Us remake looks really fucking different from the, how the original game was this is not how I remember it at all we're taking a bold new direction with this now wait can I just go around into the other bathroom Yeah? Why can I hear a heartbeat? This is awful. Oh god. The audio design in this so far is really fucking good and I hate it so much. I hate it so much. You crazy deads. You crazy, crazy deads. You are toying with me. And I know it. I freaking know it. Right, that goes... Oh, that's the door. I think. Sounds like the door slamming again, but I'm not sure. So there's a cargo bay. Hiya. And then, uh, I know I can sprint, by the way. I'm shitting my pants right now, so I'm trying not to sprint. Just so you know. <laughs> if you ever see me just slowly walking along like that, it's because I'm fucking scared. So, oh, the down bit goes back where we came from. Right, that makes sense. I lost my bearings for a second then. We can't get into this room just yet. I think we have to come back here after we've gone this way. Or maybe we go this way. I'm not sure. Either way, that looks like I'm going to have a fucking fight on my hands. So that's just fucking wonderful. Not. Anyway. I remember this. Kind of. Yeah? You want to whisper some more in my ear? Oh, some spooky ass ASMR I just got there. Wild. The S in ASMR actually stands for spooky in this game. Message retrieved. Alright. Benson to engineering. You got a stasis module handy? We need one in tram maintenance stat. The autoloader's fried. I got a damaged tram car on the tracks, and if the whole system's gridlocked... If it's, if it's fried, does it taste nice? Uh -huh. Stasis module now. What happened to the autoloader? No idea. A lot of shit's been breaking down. I keep hearing things. I feel like something's yeah, about to pop out, that's what why I'm no. just take- what, what? Ah, oh, that's why I'm just waiting a moment. I didn't want to interrupt the uh, audio log as well. What's this? What are you? Oh, that's a box, right. I thought it was, but I wasn't quite sure. I couldn't make the actual box out, just the blue lights. <laughs> anyway, I need to do something up here. You're a malfunction. Got him. Manually attach claws to initiate repairs. Alright. One on each side. Wait, was there an item there? Oh. <laughs> working harder. Hardly working. <laughs> hey. You, your helmet looks kind of similar. Yeah, don't, don't stand up, buddy. It's fine. You take a rest. But your helmet looks kind of similar to the back of mine. Interesting. Anyway. That's cool. Yeah, I heard you. Ah, I didn't know you were so fucking close, though. Just 
just moving away in case there was enemies over here. Alright. Did I do that one or do I need to do it again? I think I need to like time them in a certain way from what I remember. But I need to clear this area first. Or I could deal with enemies on both sides. Alright, well, this is a... Ah! Can I... Can you move? Excuse... Excuse me. Holy shit. Did I just, like, lightning punch them? What just happened? Oh! How I took no damage there, I'll never know. I feel like they took pity on me. I also just saw there's a health item over here. Hell yeah. I feel like they took pity on me there, then. Like, seriously. <laughs> Especially this one that was, like, over here. He had all the ability in the world to just fuck my shit in, and he just didn't. So that was kind of weird. But oh well, anyway. Yeah, I remember now. And then you do this. And then, uh, nailed it. Oh, it does glow slightly blue. It's just not as strong as it was in, uh, in the original. Interesting. Can I go through there? It's locked, so I'm not sure how. Uh oh. Oh god. That was terrible him. Anyway. Bonk. Whoa! Fucking Jesus. That sounded literally like it was like right in my ear. Like literally at the side of me. I was like, Duh! <laughs> That was wild. Is that done now or? There's another one. Alright, cool. You got it. The tram was jamming the whole system. Not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna get attacked from behind as well. Should be able to call you a ride in the bridge. Good. Just hurry. I keep hearing you. Might as well grab that. Right under our feet. Alright. I remember this. Yep. Hi. Alright, bye. I don't know where the fuck you just went, but bye. I look forward to fucking finding out. Uh, can I not go through there yet? I thought that's where I had to go now. I don't know why. The flight deck tra tram station. I guess maybe I come back here. I might have to uh, actually get the tram up and working first and then maybe come back here. Not sure though. Oh yeah, that hot beat. Yeah, break it down. That's my jam. Anyway. Right. I'm pretty sure I get attacked here. There you are. Whoa. Like a fucking lightning bolt for a second then. I was like, what the fuck? Is that new? I don't remember these guys being able to shoot at you like that. That's weird. I genuinely don't remember that. So I'm not sure if they've like given them a new ability to make them a bit more deadly on the ground. Which, fair enough. Wait, is there a way that I can get into this back area? It's got like a locked door with a 1 on it. Security clearance level 1. Is that new? I feel like that's new. I don't remember that in the original. That must be like... You get like security clearance after a while. Maybe it's like a Metroidvania style system where I like come back. And um... Can get, like I can come back and find some extra secrets. Will somebody fix that damn door? 
It keeps the banging. Anyway. I swear that sounded like a voice saying, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? <laughs> Strange voices. Maintenance complete. Please tell me you can hear those voices too and I'm not losing my mind. Look at this drink. It's so fucking blue. Sorry for the noise though, just finishing that off. Hell yeah. I didn't actually, it was like very blue. It's supposed to be blue raspberry, but it didn't really taste like anything to be honest. It wasn't great, but oh well. It was nice and cold though. Riddler? Is that you? The fucking queen crushed up question mark? I just don't know if I'm going the right way now. Oh wait, yeah, I can do this, can't I? Oh, never mind. I'm not going the right way. Alright oh, then. Maybe I come back here later then when I've got security clearance or something. Or maybe I can come back here later. Return to the Kallion. Is that our ship? I don't remember. I think it is. So I'm backtracking, I guess, back to, uh, the start area. Oh, fucking God damn it. I'm jumpy. All right. Leave me be. Can I use the fire extinguisher? Like stun the enemy. That'd be nice. Are you a thing? Oh, you're a fan. You're a fan blade. I thought that was like a creature or something. I wasn't sure. I think I might remember this. I'm not sure. No, never mind. I don't remember shit. Never mind. Time to deal with the absolute ass that was this area. And, uh, because now there's going to be a bunch of enemies in there. Ew! Enemies! Gross! Disgusting! Yeah, what up? It's me, your boy Isaac. Back at it again with the please don't kill me. I'm partially aiming like this because I'm scared. But it's also because I can't really see sometimes. So having that light is very handy. Can you fucking not, you ass? That's what I mean. They can, like, use the vents to get around. I swear I heard one behind me. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. I think that's the one I just shot. Getting up in the vents. Can you die? There you go. Alright, onwards to new horrors. Yippee. Isaac, we made it to the bridge. It's well, at least the lights are still on in here, that's nice. There's no survivors. Daniels is trying to get into the command computer. What happens to the guy that got killed in here? Did he get pulled into the vent? I'm gonna assume he did. Cause uh I don't see him anywhere. Where's this go? Flight deck tram station. Alright, maybe that's where I go next, I'm not sure. I don't know what it is like, the f the, for some reason I remember like, the least about the first game and I don't know why. It might just be because I didn't end up 100% in this game unlike the other two. Just because I always found that the first game was a lot more difficult personally. I will straight up admit I just wasn't good enough, I straight up admit that. At least this area is a bit brighter, so that's nice.
That seems like a bad idea. But okay, back on the ship. Why did you take your helmet your helmet off? You didn't really need to. Okay. Nice jam. I was making a sandwich. It went a bit wrong. My bad. I was gonna surprise you with the jam sandwich and everything. She doesn't know. Does she know? She doesn't know. Instead of she know, instead of he knows. Go. I'm curious how they knew to do that. Oh god. I was wondering why I couldn't move. Is that different? I feel like in the original you um you ran off the ship. You quickly ran off and then it blew up. Might be wrong though. Maybe I'm misremembering. Also, these things are now here. Oh, another one. A little bit harder to dismember those. Blah. That was certainly a noise. Captain Matthias. Okay, here. Captain Benjamin Matthias. Location medical. Status deceased? Even the captain? God. Well, I shit. You're closer to medical. You can double back and cut through maintenance. Find the captain's body and get his rig. With his codes, we. What was that? What do you fucking think it was? Chen? It's Santa Claus. He's come to deliver you some fucking presents. What do you think it was? Shit. Well, that was spooky. Alright, back through. Yeah, I was about to say, can you not turn all the lights off, please? Wait, I can go this way now? If I had to go through maintenance. Interesting. I thought maintenance was the area we were just in. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Anyway, I mean, I know what I'm doing. I just don't know what's going on anymore. Bathrooms, huh? <sighs> okay. Time for this. Yay. Everybody, clap your hands and... Chia, we're gonna have a great time in the small enclosed fucking area! Ah! What the hell's that? Ah. What's that say? I can't die here, not yet. Not like this? Eat me. They ate my boy. What the fuck? Solace Casino, coming soon. Imagine that's the first, like, I say first. Imagine they do a DLC for this game that's like all new content where you're like somehow in a casino for some reason. That'd be wild. Like a spooky casino. Like a horror casino. A casino of death where you gamble with your life. Anyway. Flight deck tram station. Uh, left. No, this is an elevator. Right, I'm there. Whew. I think we're good. Watch them like burst in through here now somehow. Just to fuck with me. Oh, there's a store though. The first tram deck. 
Hell yeah. That's a pog. Alright. Welcome to the store. The store is a one-stop shop for uh, to purchase, sell, and store items for later use. Store. Yep, you can store things. There's schematics, inventory stuff, and you can store things. Yep. Plasma energy, med pack, power node. Hey, right, 9,400. I don't really want to sell anything right now, but if I did, I'd have enough to afford to, uh... Oh, wait, yeah, I have this. Sell. I know it's... Oh, wait. I thought I said 2,000. Oh, wait, yeah, 2,000. I was thinking 100 for some reason. <laughs> Fucking noise! Noise! Anyway. I'm gonna get the suit. Hell yeah. I think the suit gives you, like, extra defense as well or something, but I can't remember. Anyway. Suit time. Suit up, mother trucker. Hell yeah. No, I have two visors. Or a two part visor. Nice. I have like a thing on my shoulder now and everything. I think it's like the level 3 suit that is the suit that like is shown in all the artwork and the box and stuff. Or it might be this one. No, I think it's the level 3 one. So I think the visor is a bit uh. I think the visor's got three, so I think it is the level three one, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I think it goes up to like level five. There might be a level six suit, but I think that might have been like a, a DLC in the original game or something. I wonder if any of those suits are in this game, because I actually don't know. I don't know if I'm just going to be wearing this suit and upgrading it for the whole game, or if I'm going to get to have any other suits, because in the original game, all the extra suits were just like... DLC and for the most part they were just reskins from what I remember like you can have like a white version of this suit and stuff anyway I think I'm gonna wrap this episode up here for now but I'm gonna be hell yeah there's always peng anyway but I am gonna be playing more of this when I can so let me know what you think about this game in the comment section down below but thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video pip pip toodaloo